All right, I've just arrived in Bangalore and I'm here for a day for a special interview with one of the CMO and he's the CMO of a data storage company. So super excited to chat with him. Do you want to see who he is? Let's go. Now you know who I was talking about. It's Jyoti from DDN. Jyoti, welcome to the Robert Show. Thank you. Excited to be here. Looking forward to this. Let's go and have some chat and let's learn let's more about it. what you're doing in this let's, space. Let's do it. Awesome. All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. Super excited to be here in Bangalore just for a day uh, to meet one and only uh, Jyoti, who's the CMO at DDN. Jyoti, welcome to the Ravid Show. Thank you. Happy to be here. Jyoti, such a pleasure to be chatting with you today. Obviously, we connected a few weeks back and uh, since then I've been obviously following all the great content that you produce as well. I saw the interview with Alex uh, and such a cool interview, right? Thank you. Uh, but obviously I'm here to learn a little about DDN and the cool things that you're doing in this space uh, you know for the larger enterprises out there but just for audience would you like to quickly introduce yourself tell us more about DDN what do you do and um, you know just in general some some things about yourself sure so yeah I'm Jyoti Swarup um, I am the CMO of DDN a company that's been around for 20 plus years. It was founded in 1998. Right. Uh, Paul Block and Alex Bazari, our CEO, um, and uh, Paul's our president, they founded it in 1998. And it's had a very interesting, successful journey since then. It started off as a high performance computing company. Right. Uh, enabling some of the world's largest supercomputers, which it does today as well. True. And from the roots in HPC and storage, today it's the world's leading data intelligence platform powering the top AI use cases all over the world. Yeah, well, thanks for sharing that. And uh, we've been seeing all the, you know, I met the DDN team at NVIDIA GTC and I've been seeing all the cool work that y'all are putting together, uh, not only just y'all alone, but with NVIDIA as well and many more other companies around uh, whom y'all are partnering with. I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about, you know, uh, a little brief about DDN and its key milestones. What have y'all uh, done in the last 20 years? 20 years is like long time and y'all have built a such a huge company. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, and I know we were talking a little about it off air as well, uh, you know, where you all focus on employees, right? And you all focus on the value. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to learn a little about, you know, obviously the milestones and uh, about a little more about in, in depth about DDN. Sure. Well, that's a loaded question. So let me try to unpack that a little <laughs> bit. Uh, I've not been a DDN throughout that journey that you just described. Yep. Most of the credit, in fact, all of the credit goes to Alex, Paul, and the team that's been with DDN yep. uh, for a very long time. In fact, one of the things I love about DDN is a lot of our employees are celebrating their 10-year anniversaries, 15-year anniversaries, wow. which is very rare for exactly. a tech company, right? That is testament to the culture that Alex and Paul have built in the company. That is testament to the success of the company, right? People stay in successful companies. Mm, yes, exactly. culture is very important, but also the company needs to thrive in what they do. True. So, as I mentioned earlier on, the roots are in HPC, which is high-performance computing. Right. Uh, lots of success there with research facilities, healthcare, government labs, etc. Yep. And then that has led us to this moment, which is driven by NVIDIA and Jensen Huang, uh, which is bringing AI to the mainstream enterprise. Yeah. Okay. These are fantastic insights. I like how you kind of mentioned about, you know, obviously people celebrating 10 years, 15 years of experience, but that doesn't come uh, just with the culture. It also comes with what are you kind of building and what are you kind of going out and, you know, selling it to customers and how satisfied they are. So that's pretty cool. I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little about, you know, the customers. So... I know you all have customers all across, all around the globe. And uh, like, obviously we've chatted off air. I know such huge names uh, that you all cater to. I'm kind of curious to learn a little about the customers as well. And what are they talking about DDN? Yeah, I mean, customers are always exciting yeah. to talk about, right? So DDN has the fortune 
of collaborating and supporting customers of all sizes, but mostly in the upper end of the spectrum, right? In, right. in, in, the, in the large enterprise, large AI deployments around the world. Now, why is that? Goes back to the roots. DDN always built purpose-built systems for high-performance computing and supercomputers, yep. and now we take those learnings and the, the innovations from those learnings into the enterprise, into the hyperscalers, right. into cloud providers. So, uh, a couple of examples, right? Uh, actually, let's start with the biggest one. Let's one do of it. One, our largest uh, AI deployment, the lar one of the world's largest AI factories today is XAI, Elon Musk's company. Wow. Um, and they have, what, over 200,000 NVIDIA GPUs? Right. And DDN is the data infrastructure that supports right. that you know, the NVIDIA GPU infrastructure. Exactly. And that is pretty insane. And if you think about it, this is credit to Elon and his team that what generally takes three to four years to accomplish in terms of a, a, an AI factory of that scale, and then another year or two to start getting results, Right. they were able to drive results in weeks with this deployment. Mm. Okay, wow. and that's thanks to, again, NVIDIA's GPUs and the NVIDIA software stack combined with DDN's data intelligence platform right. underneath that, uh, that we're enabling these insights for Grok, which is wow. their uh, end product as a result of this data center mm. or AI factory. So that's one cool new example at scale. Yeah. Uh, another one I like to talk about is financial services, which is interesting to all of us. Because you know we we all invest in the stock market, most right. of us do. Right. And Jump Trading, one of our largest customers in financial services, uses the DDN data intelligence platform to ensure that these humongous trading volumes that happen in the stock market, etc., we can apply AI on that data effectively right. in nanoseconds, right? To ensure that everything runs coherently, even though it's at scale and you know billions of data points, billions of trans transactions are happening on their platform, DDN's able to support that. Right. So, two interesting examples. I think uh, those are fantastic uh, examples that you mentioned about uh, and great insights. I think those are big names as well, right? So, uh, do you think with bigger names, it's also the pressure that you kind of feel when you know, uh, you'll have to cater to such huge uh, clients and customers, and that's like the size, right? Uh, do you feel like there's a little bit of pressure as well when you're kind of going after such big names? Honestly, at DDN, we feel the excitement. Nice. Rather than the pressure, right? Because it's in our DNA to build these systems at scale and right. deliver it to the largest customers in the world. We've done that for 25 years plus. Um, so we feel a sense of excitement. Every time True. a requirement from a large customer comes in, we're always aiming higher. We want to deploy something faster. We want our systems to perform better, 4x better, 10x better, 15x better. True. We want our systems to save our customers 5x more money than it did last year. Yeah, right? exactly. So that's the whole point of innovation in technology. Is, yeah. to, is to make it better, faster, cheaper with every iterations for your customer. Mm no matter the scale. So we, we get excited. We, do, we don't really get stressed with large scale Wow, I love it. I love, I love how you kind of approach uh, the large scale you know, projects. Uh, so that's fantastic. Also, uh, I'm curious to learn a little about, you know, I'm, I know you, you're uh, today in Bangalore, but then next week you'll be at NVIDIA uh, AI Summit happening in Mumbai. So can you tell me a little about the partnership that you all have with NVIDIA as well? Oh wow, yeah, that's an exciting partnership that's uh, you know happened over eight to nine years now, right? Long this is this is not something new to us, and yeah. and Nvidia's success is not an overnight success. You know, <laughs> Jensen and the Nvidia team have worked at this for decades, and DDN's been you know has had front row seats to that journey over the last True. eight nine years, working closely with them. So uh, Nvidia's first supercomputer, Celine had the DDN infrastructure, DDN data intelligence platform wow. in there. And then the, the the supercomputers and chips that they're launching from there on in, whether it's EOS or Blackwell that's coming up. In fact, they already just shipped Blackwell to OpenAI. Mm -hmm. uh, DDN's right there with them. So wow. we are huge proponents of everything NVIDIA does. Uh, they are you know, a big, big partner for us 
uh, they are leading this AI revolution in the world today. Right. And they're doing it responsibly, methodically. They're executing phenomenally. Yep. And we at DDN are trying to match them step for step, whether it's with innovation, with our data infrastructure, matching the performance requirements of their GPUs, which get better, mm. which get 5x, 10x better every year. <laughs> way, way uh, nice. And our data infrastructure is continuing to match that as they go. And we're deployed alongside NVIDIA at scale, like you pointed out earlier on, all over the world. Yes, exactly. And uh, looks like a very tight partnership that you all have and you all kind of maintain that pretty well. So that's awesome. Uh, kind of also curious to learn a little about the future. We've been, you know, obviously seeing all the AI hype right now. Some people and some enterprise leaders kind of feel overwhelmed as well. Uh, I, I spoke to enterprise leaders early, early I guess early 2024 or maybe the end of 2023 and, you know, the enterprise leaders were your, like this year is going to be like the year of implementation. But then a lot of implementation is still happening. Right. What do you think about, you know, the future of um, innovations happening in AI and how is it going to um, impact the computing as well? Wow. Okay. So let's, let's start with enterprises first. Yep. AI for the past, let's call it two to three years, has mostly been limited, maybe limited is not the right word, focused on hyperscalers and what NVIDIA likes to call AI factories. Mm. These are companies and people with a lot of money at hand to invest in these large scale AI factories, right? right? And build these really you know, impactful LLMs um, and applications on top of that. But with innovation from NVIDIA, from DDN, et cetera, what we're noticing is the learnings that we get from these hyperscalers, these cloud providers, and large AI factories that are being built can be applied. The blueprint is now getting ready to yep. be applied to large enterprises. The challenge for large enterprises was, where do we start? because it seems to be a heavy investment. Where do we start here? And how do I know what the business outcome will be if I'm going to make this huge investment? Right. Now that they're seeing the fruits of the labor of all these other companies that went big, invested heavily, and are seeing phenomenal business outcome, enterprises are now more than dipping their toes in the water. They're actually going headfirst nowadays. Right. Right. Saying we're all in, we see the value here, we want our LLM to be the de facto LLM of our industry, True. our vertical. So so we're seeing that phenomenon start uh, in the enterprise, but it, we're still scratching the surface. There's a long way to go. There's a long way to go there. We all are waiting actually, you know, to be honest in, um, it's, if, you know, if you say we're just scratching the surface, I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen in the next two to three years um, because that's how the space will evolve very quickly but at the same time it will evolve massively in terms of the innovations that we're gonna see. Uh, one last question for you, Jyoti, is about you know DDN and, and its future. What's, what's next that's coming up for DDN? I know you have massive plans for 2025 and you're already, uh, you know, already setting the ground for the customers, for prospects, for you know the leaders, for the community as well. What can we expect? Yeah, great question. So we have lots of new exciting announcements that we will be announcing, starting with the NVIDIA AI Summit that's happening shortly, yep. supercomputing, uh, and a big, big announcement in February of next year. Mm. Uh, most of it is focused around how DDN is this de facto industry leading data intelligence platform that adds tremendous value to AI use cases both right. below the stack and above the stack. So what do I mean by that? So most people who followed the history of DDN or data infrastructures think of it as data storage, you know, about storing data, retrieving data and things yeah. like that. Yeah. But most people don't think about these platforms as database, data analytics, data insights. Exactly. Right? On top of just the storage piece. Mm. Right? Which is increasingly becoming commodity. So that's where the future is for DDN is we will tightly integrate with NVIDIA's software ecosystem. 
Nice. Right? They're Nims, Nemo, Triton, exactly. Drive. Yeah. All of those pieces that are that have immediate applicability into the enterprise or to end users. And we are the de facto data data layer behind that. Right? As opposed wow. to staying in the data data center or in the AI factory we're going to be above the stack as well going forward. So some really compelling announcements to come from, from, come from us on that piece. I can't wait. I'm excited to, you know, already I'm kind of listening from a perspective where we kind of obviously see companies like DDN as, you know, obviously just the storage, but it's much more than I could have imagined. And obviously I've learned it over the last few years and now you all have gone, you all are kind of, looking at something which would be massive. So I can't wait definitely for all the announcements. Uh, super excited about it. Uh, I promise this is the last question and this is for our audience is, if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about what you do, I, I've seen your in, uh, a few interviews as well and I, I told you off air as well, I absolutely loved it. The one that you had with Alex and if people you want to check out, definitely it's on uh, Jyoti's profile. But if they want to reach out to you, learn more about DDN, and also the resources that you all share, where can they do that? Well, obviously the best place is ddn.com. Okay. Uh, yep. But do follow us on our social media handles, LinkedIn, X, Twitter, etc. cetera. Yeah. Uh, we have, like I said, lots of useful information that we always put out Yes. Uh, to, to our customers and prospects. We learn from the best and brightest AI customers in the world, and we want to pass those learnings on. There's yeah. no point hiding those learnings. We, we want to share it. Yeah. So please follow us either on our website or our social media handles or YouTube or on the Ravicho. Thank you. Now I can watch for at least how you all spread the knowledge. And, you know, I've, I've spent, for our audience, just behind the scenes, I've spent like almost two, two plus hours with Jyoti today and I've got a lot of wisdom. So, Jyoti, always such a pleasure chatting with you. And, uh, you know, obviously this is just, start to many of the conversations that we are having on the Robert show and learning more about DDN and the customers that you all are catering to. Great work. Uh, and, you know, thanks for sharing all the great insights with us today on the Robert show. No, thank you. Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed the conversation. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jyoti. And uh, thank you everyone for joining us today.